A Tejas aircraft of the Indian Air Force crashed in Rajasthan today during a training sortie. The pilot has ejected safely, and no injuries have been reported on the ground. This is the first crash of the indigenous jet, and a probe has been ordered into the incident. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with Indian National Security Advisor Rajit Doval, and the Prime Minister updated him on the recent developments in the Gaza Strip. Indian military personnel stationed in Maldives have departed from the island nation, and they have handed over the helicopter's operations to an Indian civilian crew. As India gears up to test K-4 nuclear-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile from INS Airy Hunt, China has placed its survey vessel Xiangyang Hong-1 in international waters off Vizag. China has lodged a diplomatic protest with India, over Prime Minister Modi's visit to Arunachal Pradesh last week, saying that India's moves will only complicate the unresolved boundary question. Two Tejas Mark 1A aircraft were scheduled for delivery to Indian Air Force in February 2024, which later changed to March, and now media reports indicate that HAL will deliver them in April 2024. The project director of AMCA program has revealed that the first AMCA prototype will roll out by the end of 2027, and the first flight is slated for September 2028. The DRDO has developed Low Observable Frequency Selective Surface Radome, which is a crucial technology for the realization of AMCA stealth aircraft. China is all set to start construction of its fourth supercarrier, and it plans to operate six aircraft carriers by 2035. South Korea has offered Saudi Arabia to jointly work on a sixth-generation combat aircraft based on the KF-21. The DRDO has released pictures of the successful test of yesterday's Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile equipped with three MIRF warheads and decoys, and the number of warheads in the missile system can also be increased based on the requirements, which has now stirred a speculation that it might be the Agni-6 missile. The images have sparked discussions, particularly regarding its distinctive conical nose, which matches the design presented in earlier diagrams depicting the proposed Agni-6 ICBM. The image hints at the possibility of a more advanced and sophisticated weapon system, but the DRDO maintains that no such missile exists, as the presence of Agni-6 might influence the regional security landscape, and will require careful monitoring and diplomatic measures. India and Germany held their High Defense Committee meeting in Berlin, during which officials from the German company Krauss Maffei Wegmann have offered the AGM Ivoco 8x8 mounted gun system for Indian Army's mounted gun systems tender. It features enhanced survivability against mines IEDs and ballistic threats, and is equipped with 155mm L52 main gun with an unmanned automated gun module, and has a firing range of 54 km, and Krauss Maffei Wegman has offered to share technology for its production and maintenance in India. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is developing a battlefield situational awareness system for futuristic armored fighting vehicles project. It will provide real-time battlefield awareness to crew members, including friendly and enemy positions as well as potential threats and terrain features, that will improve their decision-making capabilities in dynamic combat situations, and aims to contribute to a more secure and effective fighting force. Today's top 3 comments.